How's it going guys? My name is AJ and welcome back to another car review. The car that we're going to be checking out today is the Volvo XC60 D4, meaning it is the four cylinder 2000 cc twin turbo engine. First, let's check out the exterior. Yeah, so that was the exterior. The first thing we're going to check out is the front appearance, the front design. So the Volvo has this, this, this unique, the Volvo XC60 has this unique front grill here. I've not seen any grill like this in any car. With the Volvo was budging the, in the front. So a car like this cannot miss LED headlights. Hey, LED headlights and some fog lights mounted here at the side with loads, loads and loads and loads of sensors in the front coming up to the sides you have both 18 inch front and back wheels you have this lovely chrome accent going, going on under here coming up to the back of the Volvo XC60. There's this back that I'm not a huge fan of, but there are some people who like this back of the Volvo. It has dual exhaust. And as you can see, it has the X60, XC60, and the D4 budget. So the Volvo XC60 is a crossover SUV, a mid-size SUV. Uh, as you're going to see from the space that you're going to be getting inside this car. So let's very fast let's check out the interior. The interior front. Before we get in, you can see you have the Volvo badging to remind you you are entering a Volvo, a Swedish car manufacturer, manufacturer company. Yeah, so get in, I show you some cool stuff inside here. Yeah guys, so this is the Volvo key, as you can see. Yeah, so you have a, a, key, play, a key pouch inside there. Uh, let me show you from this from my angle um, the car dash is slightly slanted like that and it's facing the driver so when I'm the driver he seated at the driver's seat I have a very very great view uh, in the front and in the dashboard um, starting from this side you have your typical side mirror controls here and uh, you have your typical side mirror controls here and your window controls here you have your headlights controls here this is where you open your fuel tank this is where you open your boot this is where you will find your parking brake is electronic controlled uh, on the driver's seats they are electronic controlled so here are your controls which are memory seats we have door bins here but they're not very deep they are decent sized On your steering, you have lots and lots and lots of controls. You have your media controls here and your 
traction controls on this side. This car has manual mode, it is automatic, it has a dual clutch automatic and uh, manual mode. As you can see the S is the manual mode and this is where you shift your gears when you are switched to manual mode. I don't know if you can see. You have this steering, this is plus and minus on the minus side. This is where you downshift and this is where you upshift. Uh, your driver's display is all digital. As you can see, there are no analog dials here. It is all digital. This is your start and stop engine button. Um, you have fully leather, you have full leather trims here on top, a leather steering wheel, uh, some wooden touches here. This is wood wood, this is all wood, which gives this car a very 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 posh feeling. Uh, all this is leather, leather interiors, uh, this is wooden, this is plastic dials, and this is your infotainment. Uh, the, the infotainment uh, in the in the Volvo is slightly different from the others. As you can see, this is a slightly older car. That's why you can see numbers. I guess you you could call someone using this infotainment screen uh, back in the day. Um, but you have loads and loads and loads of controls here and buttons that do different types of things. I need to drive in this Volvo to, to know what some of these buttons do. But here you can check your car analytics. So as you can see, this is where you check your car analytics. Uh, you have the distance, distance and fuel units, temperature units, screen saver, show help, reset, reset all the system. Um, you have lots and lots and lots of options on your infotainment screen although it is very very tiny it is very small i guess it's a seven inch seven inch screen which is very very tiny for this amount of car this is a very very huge vehicle it deserves a bigger screen in the middle here we have cup holders you have two cup holders lockable you have your center glove box with a USB port and an auxiliary port it is not very huge because this car is all-wheel drive and it has the center shaft so it's passing underneath that's why it's not very deep uh, the seats are heated and cooled well, all of the seats in this car are leather seats as I said before it is fully leather trimmed inside and very very comfortable and, and again they are electronic controlled as you can see um, you have a sunroof I'm not going to open it but you have a sunroof it goes all, all the way to half the back seats And as you can see, the tops are fabric, very, very soft. Uh, this car screams luxury. Everything here feels very, very luxurious and high quality. Um, uh, also, this car, is, this car was rated the safest car of 2021. Um, it is very, very safe, as you can see from the number of airbags. We have one here. You have this steering airbag here you have curtain airbags here uh, the, the passenger side you also have those you have this one here you have this one here you have curtain airbags for the uh, rear passengers 
Um, this car was rated the safest car of 2021. It scored a safety rating of it scored a five star safety rating, uh, which is very very nice. So when you are buying a car with safety in mind, um, consider buying a Volvo. Uh, any any Volvo will do. Let's check out the back seats, then I show you the boot, then I show you the bonnet. Into the back of this Volvo XC60, it is very very huge and I love it. Uh, the seats are very very comfortable, you just feel you are in a very very luxurious car. Um, as you can see you have very very tiny windows for the back seats. Um, uh, the car is off but I would have shown you, it opens, the windows open all the way down. Uh, you also have the same leather trims behind here. You have leather and wood. You have rear air vents here, which is a very, very nice touch. And a tiny dobby. As you can see, a very, very tiny dobby. Um, the leg room and headroom, as you can see, the driver seat again, it is in the very, very back. But as you can see, my headroom. I'm not going to hit anything. Uh, the leg room is very, very sufficient. When I'm seated at the middle seat, um, I have this bump here that I talked about. This bump uh, for the center shaft, uh, going to the differential, is, will be a barrier, will be annoying if you're sitting in the middle seat. But another thing I love about this middle seat, you have if someone is sitting here, he has his own headrest. It's not that those ugly middle seats that if you are sleepy, you throw your head around. If no one is sitting in the middle seat, you can convert this to, uh, to cup holders. As you can see, these are rubber. If you don't, want, you don't have any drink, this can be your armrest, uh, which is also in leather. And this is plastic, very soft plastic. Um, again, I say the sunroof uh, comes to the middle of the back seat, which if you're seated here, you can have some some ama amazing views here at the back also. Uh, all these are electrically controlled. All these shades are electrically controlled. Um, this car is just beautiful. So guys, let's check out the boot. Yeah, so guys, the Volvo XC60 has an electronic controlled boot. As you can see, it opens up automatically. And it is a very, very decent sized boot. Uh, if you are somebody like that loves carrying loads and loads and lots of stuff, this boot is suf has sufficient space. And um, if you have other goods that you don't uh, running around, you can latch them here under here. You just pull this one up and you latch them. If you have lots of goods you don't running around again in the boot, you have more boot storage under here. Uh, you have a 12 volt outlet here. The usual car cigarette type outlet 12 volt socket there uh, you have more air vents that I had not seen you have more air vents here for the back for the rear passengers if you want more load capacity more boot space you can just pull on these latches and the seats will fall over you also have a load cover if you don't want your, anything you're carrying to be seen from the outside, you have a load cover. Yeah guys, and that's the Volvo XC60 boot. Let's go and check out the bonnet. As you can see, you can't notice this is a four-cylinder engine because of how huge it is. It is a four-cylinder, twin-turbo, 2000cc engine with, with eight-speed automatic gearbox with manual mode. As you can see, it is very clean and very nice.
and guys that wraps up the review of the volvo xc60 2015 d4 if you enjoy videos like this make sure you're subscribed if you want us to review any car you like make sure you write to us through the comments or if you want to purchase a car you know what to do i'll be leaving my number down below in the comments you can just call me or whatsapp me uh, i'll get back to you and uh, i'll assist you you'll get some assistance if it's not me or any other person that you'll be finding the number down below you'll get assistance so guys make sure you're subscribed again thanks for watching till the end uh, see you guys in the next video. Peace.